Good evening and welcome to Bench Monster TV. I'm Ashley Lane Condre. I am the Bench Monster. Welcome to the show. Get up here so you can talk in the microphone. Welcome to the show. There you are. Thank you for joining us. Yes, welcome Just everybody. Uh, this past weekend, and as you know, we had the Shamrock Showdown. Is that what it's called? Still? Anyway. Uh, God, was that just this weekend? I was thinking you were a week off. You're right. Yeah. That was just this weekend. Yeah. So yeah, we, it's a Shamrock Showdown. Yeah, so we have some contest footage from that. It's going to be exciting. There's a couple different Shamrock Showdowns. Yeah. But this is the, the one. Troutdale. In Troutdale. And uh, we have BJ Dirk. We have Connie Nightingale. And we have Dan Logman's videos on here tonight from that meet. And this weekend is my birthday. What day is it on? Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Saturday the 23rd. Very excited. We're broke. Broke? I get no presents? No, nah, we're broke. Canceled Sorry. my birthday? Yeah. Well, that's great. Sorry. Will I ever get a present? It's kind of like Christmas. When you behave naughty, you just get... I don't behave shit. naughty. I'm a good person. Anyway... Uh, and you got, you got some videos. You got some videos on here too. I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't watch them, but I'm Thanks. sure you, you'll walk us through them. Well, I hand it off on the I bench. Say you probably said you saw. All of them. Yeah. Uh, let's walk through and uh, let's get to our videos because we don't want to sit here and ramble and take up much of your time. We got a lot of lifters to showcase, and we want to get right to it. First up, Christina Loeffler doing 250 pounds to a two board in a loose single ply F8, and I don't need a backing. Which makes it kind of nice. Single ply equipment. I have some of that. And I think one of them is a Titan and an Inzer Rage X that I wore long ago. Got the bench block on there. We've got that also. Oh, effortless. Easy. Speed wrap. Easy. Nice. Could have done 10 of them. Nice. Uh, well done. Well done. Easy. Yeah, very good. Uh, next up, Howard Weingarten sent me some videos here. And uh, we got two lifts from Howard this week. One's 826 and one's 876. He's in his four-ply fate shirt. That is four-ply. It's a monster. And I need a backing. So I got to put this thing up like usual. Let's check out the 826 real quick. I've seen these four plies before. I've got one of them. They're beefy. I like the range of motion that one has yeah. on it. He's getting it down. He's not getting, it's getting not locking it up. Easy. Let's check out board. 876 right here. It's a very good handoff too. Build, 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 build. Yeah, for only being a one guy handoff, that is pretty Yeah, it's good. pretty good. That looks good, Howard. It's probably taking quite a bit of it, I would assume. Yeah. Well, you got to you got to get them out and set them, yeah. and that's a strong man to do that. Yeah. I, I anytime anytime we get to seven hundred, I'm asking for three men. <laughs> and I tell you what, man, handing off a thousand whatever I did this past week, and my back hurt every day until yesterday. Like just L five S one, not a good thing. You're old. No, that's when contorting the bench press and arch and years and years of and years lower and back years abuse. And years and years and years of it. Yeah, it's wear and tear. Uh, Dimitro sent me a video here. He's doing 630 times four reps and a three-ply fate to a one board, or is that a two? I don't know because my ones look like twos. Let's see what he's doing here. It looks like a looks like a one board. Immaculate form, head back. It's like a machine. Very easy. Probably could have done four more, Dimitro. Looking good. Nice. Yeah, easy. Smooth controlled wraps. Very nice. No shaky, no teeter totter. Well stabilized. Excellent. Uh, James Borgalt hitting 555 at a meet two weeks post Arnold Classic. And I need a backing for James here, real quick. And we're going to check out that 555. Very speedy rep right here. Boom. Two two weeks post Arnold Classic wow. right there. Damn. Bounced back and did a meet. That's Jesus. awesome. That's crazy. 
Uh, next up, we have BJ Dirk, who competed at the IPA meet this past weekend. He did 860 and 937. My three looked like a five. It's chicken scratches over here. So we're going to check out 860 first. Looks like whoever filmed it made me have to do this. So we'll have to do that. I don't know. But here's 860. I'm handing no, off. No, that's not my angle. Build, build, build. I don't know why it stopped right there halfway up. We. Boom. So we'll check out his 937 right here. This one's a little smoother. Out, 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 settle. Perfect three, man. If I do so, so. Hit nice and low. Boom. And close it out. Done. 937 in the books. Uh, we took a shot at 1,003, and it kind of locked up. We had the uh, neckline and sleeves pulled down too far, and it kind of froze up. Going to take a little uh, break here. I saw this on Instagram. I thought it looked cool. It's called parkour. Uh, just check it out. I just want to talk through it here because these guys, I mean, are pretty talented. Like, I don't know how they do this. Jesus. Yeah. And not, not, oh, my God. That's impressive. I don't care. Kind of cool, right? Different. Like. Are those gymnasts, basically? What are I they? I assume they're ex-gymnasts. Ex -gymn okay. I don't think you can. I mean, sometimes you get, like, genetic freaks that can just do whatever. But I mean, some of that stuff, right, I would be a, in a wheelchair. Oh, my God. That is so cool. I just. That precision. Yeah. I mean, one false move and, oh, my God. I wonder how many times he breaks shit. Oh, it don't go good that first time. That's what oh, my God. Like, how, how did you? How, oh, Jesus, people. Makes my palms sweat. I mean, you have to break a, uh, a patella tendon or two here and there somewhere. I don't know. But I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. That was just a break in the action. Let me have a swig. All right. AJ Roberts. Saw him on Instagram here. Thought I'd grab his video. He's doing uh, a camber football bar. 315 for 20 reps with it reversed and then a 455 for one with it in the uh, regular position. Do I need a backing for AJ? AJ says a backing. Okay, well, we got to do this then. And where's he at? AJ football bar. All right. We got one of these. In the gym. We should break it out. Bench with it tomorrow. Good. We need some sport tape for the uh, grips, though, because our, our grips aren't very knurled. A.J. Roberts, as you know, at the XPC at the Arnold, bench 1,000 pounds. Yep. First grand. I First 1,000-pound lift of young man's life. 455 right here with that bar. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Smooth. That's how he trains. That's how you do it. Butter. Butter. Decided to throw this one in here because I thought it was cool. This is from the Arnold, um, the three lift total meet that was on Saturday. Um, Tony Carlino's biggest lift, uh, 1047. And uh, I just want to showcase this one because it is super cool. And I was there to witness it. And I just want to showcase it again. 1047 for this guy. Perfect handoff. Precision bencher right here. It's at the bottom for a minute too, and he still pushes out of it in speed. Look yeah, at that, easy. right? Yep. I was kind of impressed there. I'm well, very impressed. He knows that shirt. I was like, yeah, was it's at 1047, easy. right? I mean, you gotta, you gotta say, hey. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. Yeah. It's a lot of weight. God darn it is. All right. Uh, I found this on Instagram while I was perusing for videos. This is John Hack. Says it's a 925 deadlift PR. So we got to check that out. Okay, where's John Hack at? Up here. Saw him at the Arnold, and then we did. I, we almost got a picture, but T.D. Davis. T.D. Davis was talking to me, and I turned around. He was gone. That pulled a Houdini. That's a nice bar and weights. Very nice. An easy lift, too. Yeah, it was. 
That's a strong man. He is a very strong man. Yeah. Oh, I got the backing up. I'm, I'm exiting out, and I'm not even letting people back in. 925, just picked it up. Yeah. No straps, strong, nothing. Dude. Yeah. All right, let me turn the page. All right, Dan Logman at the Shamrock Showdown. Didn't get what we wanted. Had a little shirt issue here and there, but uh, we opened at 611. We got on the board, and I got to put a backing up, it says. So we'll check out Dan Logman here. Heinz handing off, and I'm on one side, I believe. Jose on the other. Got to have that three man. Smoke. Smoke show. Right? That's how you get on the board, people. Simple as that. Uh, one rep max sent me a video here. And uh, this is a okay. four. Huh? No, I just said nice job, Dan. Uh, one rep max sent me a video here. 451 off the two board, which was a five pound PR. And he had some other explanations about it, but I I took the best of it and said five pound PR. And let's check it out. So he's got a shoulder saver on there. Looks like the Ginny Canvas. I'm gonna I'm gonna say. Repping that can uh, canvas shirt or denim? Is it denim? Why did I say canvas? It's denim. Great lockout, loads that shirt, spreads that bar. There you go. One rep looking good. Nice, easy. Might be time to compete soon. Look, it's time. He's looking strong. Looking strong. I think we uh, need to get him up here for a meet or go to his, his next meet. Get the hell out of here again. That was fun. I uh, got a couple uh, lists from Cody Plum. Actually, from Cody Plum and his son, Vincent. First up, we're going to take Cody Plum here at 445 Fat Bar Bench Press. And I need a backing for Mr. Plum. And he's right here. So that's like an axle bar or something, I assume. Fat bar. I don't think we have one of those in our gym. Oh, you had more. You can put more on the on the weight on the bar there. Jeez, you put that up easy. Easy. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, pretty fast. Uh, his son Vincent here is benching eighty pounds, and he is twelve years of age. And I need a backing for him too. The way these videos are cropped. Start young and look at the technique. Get, look at that arch. Getting those shoulder blades pinched together, squeezing that bar. Leg drop. Look at that. He's setting up. He's, yeah, he is. He ain't messing he around. He ain't wrestling around. No. We're here to lift. We watched him compete in Spokane at a meet. Remember that? Yeah, we did. He flexed and the crowd loved it. He flexed after he got one of his lifts. Yeah, I remember that. No, that was I think off. it was during awards. He awards? Flexed, okay. He award and the whole crowd went. Yeah, they liked it. Uh, Terry from Greece sent me a video. He was just coming off having pneumonia. And he uh, hit some bench PRs here with his training. So let's check out Terry. Where's he at? Right here. Looks like he's doing some close grip uh, PR work here. Looks like hands one one inch from smooth. That's a close grip. Looks like he's got a uh, slingshot apparatus on now. Bench band, one layer. Very good line right there. Looking good. And pneumonia is no joke. You're coming off of that and still maintain what you have. That's awesome. That's good. Get your app. Connie Nightingale. Now, I don't have um, her numbers here, but you kind of know them. I know them. I know I sent, sent the wrong squat, so we don't have her squat. Okay. She squatted 450. You sent, me the, you sent me the 500. Okay. Let's check out Connie's uh, bench press here. What? How much are we doing? 265. 265. Setting up. He's out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, I believe. Travels three hours each way to come train with us on squat and bench press night. We're an Enzer Phenom. Scoop net. Oh, easy. And uh, what we do with her is the old school method of uh, pulling the sleeve tricep support down behind the arm a little bit, keeping the neckline low, and trying to get the most out of that shirt. I know those. I know those phenoms quite well. Uh, deadlift looks like I don't need a backing, or do I? Let's find out. What do we got here? Your head deadlift PR. 
325, I believe. Deadlift PR 325. Three lift lifter right here. Showcasing. And more, tank too. and more on the tank, too. Yeah. Sandbagging. Is that her opener? Could have been. Yeah, easy. Like speed. You are up next. Do you know what you're doing here? I'm mad I didn't get her squat, but nice job, Connie. Yeah, good yeah. job. Everybody that competed, they put forth effort and it came away. Yeah, and there's always another meet, you know, to better your better your skills. Uh, we got you squatting. Walk us through it. No, that's the wrong one. It's the wrong one, huh? Kind of. It's like 320 to me. Yeah, it's 320 for a double. Just enjoying being able to squat, squat more than one rep. Yesterday I did triples. How's the knee I can feeling? Do 225 for eight. I can do 240 for eight. How's the knee feeling? Fine. Good. I, but whatever that's, yeah. The, BPC did, 157. Did yeah, I, sh I stuck it in your patella tendon. Yeah, just leaving it alone. I, yep. Duh. Because you were so lucky that I was able to do one rep. Like, I don't know why that was the, like, I could do any weight of one rep, but anything more than one rep, even with like 95. Well, 90. you said it was like a knife pain and that's yeah, bad when i would do more than one rep that's not good it's like if it had to like contract i don't know it was freaking weird well I'm peptides so lucky fix if it would have felt like that like doing heavy weight i i don't i wouldn't have been able to squat anybody that has any type of muscular I'm injuries so strains uh, tears uh, look into bpc 157 tb 500 way more stressful if i couldn't have even been doing like singles the healing properties of those items are phenomenal and yeah yeah i can't say enough about it i'm the one I came back like the first I'm the one who brought it to this town. What is it? No one knew what it was. Sure. I, 2015, me, 14. What's that stuff? Sure. Yeah. Okay, bench press. Oh, here we are. Looks like I'm benching. I got, I'm got. i doing something with my belt on. It was be Friday. Yeah. Speed day. Uh, I was training by myself. Oh, he flipped off my camera. I didn't even notice that earlier. That's nice. <laughs> Is this my uh, solo speed day too? Yeah. Okay, this is right before the show the shamrock. The, yeah. I'm telling you to spread the bar, and you're doing just well. I still look fat, and I thought I was doing good. Damn it! I gotta get rid of that boiler. I was on the treadmill the other day. Uh deadlift. Walk us through it. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know anything about this lift. Three seventy for five. 370 for five. 370 for five reps. Mm -hmm. Right, you're wearing Chuck Taylors. Are those Chuck? I am. Those are Chuck. Oh, baby, low top. They're, they're, yeah. They're silver with sparkles. That's, That's what makes you strong. Yeah. This hair just kills my back. I, I wouldn't not... deadlift in anything other than Chucks. I don't think I ever have. Like I've never not had trucks to deal with. So your deadlift's gonna move up to closer to four fifty by the next time we see you on the platform. That'd be cool. Well, you keep doing what you're doing and, and training hard, you're gonna excel and I see you're doing speed pulls now. Mm -hmm. Who taught you to do I, that? Told you to do that. Louis Simmons. No, me. Louis Simmons. I read conjugate method. Strength power and speed off the floor, explosive power. I don't know, that's what I did like all the way leading up to the meet and then I was able to fix a lot of my hitching issues. So I, I haven't seen a hitch. I don't know if that contributed, but uh, looks good to me. Say yes and keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. So um. So here's here's here's, a, here's some weird stuff. Yes, I'm done. No, go ahead. I was just mumbling. I, I do that. I've been switching back and forth between doubled mini, so four red bands over the bar, which is fucking tons of tension, and then the lighter one with the light bands and the monster minis which are thicker bands but they're only looped over once so they're not as much why don't you film some of that i did well i don't i need it on the show probably too sick is the bar i don't like the bar weight yeah but and the speed just... is, is important yeah. it's not the bar weight it's the speed what you're trying to do there build supposed to power i almost did we'll get it next time please okay. the public demands it okay. okay so this is speed bench this was friday before the meet so nobody's there um heinz was he out of town yeah he was just getting back in town at midnight so it was solo for this kid. So you're handing off for me and let's walk through it and see what the hell I did. So I got the best deadlifter handing off for me. Good handoffs too, very impressed. So what I'm doing here is not necessarily speed. 
I thought I was gonna do like a bodybuilding thing where it's like mind muscle connection. So every time I'm pressing, I'm visualizing the muscles that I'm working, triceps, pecs, and I'm making it burn. Not really working on explosive power, just getting some good volume because I'm going to Walmart later that night and I want my pecs to pop when I'm pushing my cart. Went up to 315, good handoff right in my line. Got one chain on there. So I, you know, I got to put some resistance on there. I was getting a good pump on right here. Had some carbs, some rice cakes. So after I did the uh, wide grip work, I saw I do some close grip with two plates. This was just volume stuff here, like 10 reps. I'm by myself, so I'm calling the shots. Did a couple sets there. I like incline, that upper chest, you know, I, I kind of neglected over the years. So you're going to see me doing a lot of incline here in a max effort, dumbbells or the machine. Right there, my mind is focusing on the muscles that I'm working, and that's the upper pecs. I want to feel that tension up there. It's not about the weight. It's about building that upper chest. And it seems like if you think about the muscle that you're working, it tends to, like, work better. Here I fixed this up here with the bands. They're in plane with the uh, extension here. I really like this. Not anchored below, but anchored behind. I was hitting the lip on the uh, thing there, and I thought maybe you could come over and hand off. I did have some miniature fat grips on there, but this right here I really loved. It was tension all the way through the movement. If the bands were straight up and down, they would not have tension at the top, but be that as it may, with the uh, band strapped in that position back there, it's in plane with the uh, barbell. I love this, and I'm glad I watched it again because I'm going to do it tomorrow. I need to know where those pins are and where I support the bands. This was a great exercise. All the way to the top, tension. Loved it. Uh, incline rolling dumbbells, nothing special, slow control movements, filling the muscles that I'm working. If I wanted to, I could throw those to the ceiling and catch them, but that's like fifties. That's nothing. Take your face off. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just, I want that burn. I'm going for that pump. I'm trying to fire up the muscle fibers here. If you do, do them too fast, you're not going to put on muscle. If you slow them down, that's where the muscle is uh, better worked and will grow optimally. So, And, of course, I did push downs and went and hung around with you for a minute because you're very slow on that day because you're doing max effort bench. Okay, uh, speaking of max effort, here we are at max effort. This was last Tuesday. So we just had the meet over the weekend, and then, you know, people take time off. But Jose, who competed, we didn't have any of his videos on the show. He did a seven... I know because I videoed, uh, I used his phone to video. Oh. So when I went to get his videos, I didn't have it because I knew but, I videoed every lift he did, but I did on his phone. Yeah, Jose actually did a 725 or something, and then he hit 788, but he was locked out, but it was under the lip of the upright, and so it kind of avoided the lift because he was stuck under there, but he was locked, and then he tried 808. 805 or something eight something like that he yeah he's strong and uh it's, it's a hand-me-down shirt that i i let him buy for me well uh, anyway he was there and heinz was there let's see what we did on max effort well it looks like i pulled out two of my chains but we do uh work up to a max I really wasn't feeling it. I tell you what, I came in here and my back hurt really bad from handing off. I'm not crying, but I just didn't feel like I had, oh, that hurt right there. But I thought I'd go through the most, this is 325, probably 60 pounds of chain at the top. Heinz is going to do it for some reps. three on each side? What? Chains? No, two. Oh, then it's 80. Well, they're 20 apiece, but not oh, all of it's yeah, coming I off. So I count it like 15, 30, 60, yeah. 70, 70 pounds and chain to the top for us long, long arm lifters for yeah, Jose, right. who's shorter. You're right. And I got them set up where I want them. And I was kind of, Jose here went four, four oh five and, and, and two chains. And I was, he said this was hard and he just did a meet 48 hours before this. But I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. It looked really hard because he usually pops that up. But you know me. I'm going to go in there and try it. And this is pretty good for me. I mean, for I don't have a good raw bench, but I'll take that. Hines going to try it. Those chains really kick your ass. 
but oh, whoa, whoa, serious. But from the beginning, <laughs> the shorts, butt up. The baggy shorts are off the bench. Okay, incline. This was fun, Jose. Pulling and Ashley. Ho Jose and me. I'll grab 80s. Jose will grab 90s. I'll grab 100s. He goes 120. I go 130. And I think we got up. He he grabbed 130s, and I grabbed 140s. <laughs> It's kind of fun. We always try to one up on the uh, dumbbells. I think we'll see Nate Brandon horse over there bench press five hundred for two reps too. I took the camera over, but uh, that, look at that. That was one forties, and I fucked them up. I wanted to get that in there. I didn't want to do it because I couldn't get the technique down. But Jose kind of guided me and showed me how to do it. Look at that. Got those one forties up. Should have got out the one fifties. I was feeling pretty good on incline. Been doing a lot of it, so yeah. Here's Nate Brown horse. Uh, actually, 495, but same thing. He's been training hard. He's got a meet coming up in Vegas in May. Look at that. Easy. I told him he had three in him. That's control. That's not bouncing. Oh yeah, he could. And what that means is he can pause that for two reps. That means you can pause it and get it. Here we broke out the fat grips. Always got to break out. You can't just do regular straight archaic barbell weight movements. You got to make it hard. And fat grips make it hard. Try not to make anything easy. Make it hard. Put bands on there. Put chains on there. Put fat grips. Pick your feet up off the ground. Stand on, on your head. I don't know. Uh, that looks like a press to me there a little bit. Okay. These are tough, man. If you don't squeeze those fat grips and activate those muscles up through the arms, this thing will eat you alive. Got to work some shoulders. So we broke out my football bar, my favorite one. Had it since 2004. Still alive. Straight as an arrow. In the monolift that I own half of. Yeah, I own a monolift. Part of it. Nate Brandon Horse owns the other half. You don't have a real gym, let's have a monolift. We do shoulder presses in it. Yep. So a plate and a quarter. Just getting some reps in. Got to train shoulders, I think. Jose here went two, and I said, I'm done. Let's go do push downs. I'm leaving. I got to go take six ibuprofen for my lower back pain right now. Jose does a lot of shoulder work. He'll do it again on Wednesday after we max effort. He does a lot of overhead pressing. And that's why he's strong. And I don't showcase pushdowns. Because that's kind of boring sometimes. But, yeah, that, that concluded that workout. So now we're back to ground zero here. We have no meat to really train for, except for, I think BJ was talking about doing Rob Farrell's meet in July in Pennsylvania. Something about a single ply, a two ply, and a multi ply lift. I'm not sure of the rules, but that would be a trek to get out there and do that so i don't know if that's what he's got his heart set on as far as uh, other local meets we don't have anything to what next year no maybe i should throw one in our gym sure i am the state chairman mendelson said i was and you're gonna take his word for yeah anything yeah if he says it it means it's true <laughs> sure. we'll have an ipa uh something summer summer showdown Put up some cash, see if we can get some people to come out. Got to do something, man. If you don't have nothing to train for, you don't really train hard. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, we had we had the UPA, we had Pride Powerlifting, we had the APA, Wabdle. I mean, there was always a meet every three, four months. So if you weren't doing the meet, somebody else was, and you needed to push hard with them. And that's the way I like it. Now, now with a, not a meet in sight, it's just, it's not the same. I just don't think people push as hard. And it sucks, though, but and nothing's ever close, and there's never any you know, up where we live anyway. Just IPA is basically the only band shirt, USPA, but who does that? I don't do that meat anymore. So uh, go to the chat box, and we'll uh, get on with our life. Kind of short here. Yeah, short. Yeah. James Bergalt was here first. Hello, Ryan and Ashley. Hope all is well, and a very happy birthday to the legendary bench monster, and God bless. Thank you very much. Yes. It's better to have a birthday well. than to not to have them. Thanks for joining us. Yes. It's true. I made it this far in life. I'm doing okay. Still in the gym. Could be worse. Could be worse. 
I know people that are my age that I went to school with are fat and armchair quarterbacks and Sunday lawn mowing, sun fishing, just they don't have an active lifestyle in the gym like I do. And that's what's going to keep me youthful and to my later years, resistance training and on always finding a reason to come to the gym, no matter what. If I can't do 1500, I'll come in and I'll do a thousand. I'll do something. It's better than nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Paul Lawfer. Hey guys, how's it going? Going good, Paul. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Good to good to have you here. Paul Lawfer. I'm a little disappointed, but there will be other meat. Yeah, his his meat that he's going to was an outdoor meat, and that would be um a cold situation and usually do it? No, he's not gonna do it. Because he'd be all warmed up and be outside in the cold somewhere and, and risking injury. It it was a smart move. And I, I support him. So yeah, you got to pick your battles, man, and that's not one that would be very good. Oh, yeah. Isn't it's it's March? It's pretty cold. I don't know where he's going, but it's not really summertime yet. No, I don't know why we'd be having outdoor meets already. I don't know. Last year in April we had snow. Plus, it was in Florida, the Key West. I'm guessing it's not there. No. I should probably look it up. One rep max. Don't worry, it's the belt. I don't have a particular particularly big belly, but once the belt comes on Ugh, i look like a worm swallowed a marble that's what it is and i got it anchored low so yeah it really pulls everything not in the really it's beauty position most, most flattering for any of us to yeah be honest thank you one rep <laughs> i've been trying i'm down to 309 307 with shoes off and solo speed base trust me i know all about those <sighs> yeah i had fun i kind of made up my own thing when i went my, my pace and I just kind of like, uh, I really enjoyed myself because I used to train by myself and do speed work all the time. So I, I enjoyed to uh, kind of just feel free and I had a plan in my head and I just went with it and it was fun. And you got good handoffs. Set me right in my line. I'm just going to be out of a job. That's because you're a deadlifting person. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Howard Weingarten. What hey, about, Howard. What about the one rep talking about extensions or something? Oh, I swear I only saw two of his. Okay. I hadn't read that one already. One rep max. Interesting. I'm going to try those extensions now. My fat bar is super light, so it can work. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. He sure liked them. If you're talking about the extensions with the band, just make sure it's pulling from behind in the plane of the bar. It is It is something else. I mean, it's it's all the way to the top, like, tension. It's really yeah, nice. Yeah, it does. I know. But I never hooked them up over there because it takes extra time. Usually we just go there and put a chain on there because it's easy. I took it took a while to set up to yeah. get the pins on there, the bench in there, the bands, yada yada yada. Howard Weingarten. Thanks for the advice on the lifts. Yeah, that shirt is a beast and tough to get down. Ashley, how's the knees? And are you trying the wide stance? Also, I'm going to try carpet press for opener. Um, it's doing a lot better. I'm like an inch wider. I wouldn't want to go too dramatic all of a sudden. So just kind of slowly thinking about going a little bit wider. But yeah, it's been been doing good. I'm able to do like regular sets of eight, five, three, whatever I want to do so far without that pain. So seems to be better, knock on wood. I don't know what I did in the first place, but it seems to be doing a lot better. So Speaking of carpet press, I had a chunk of carpet. Where's it at? I have no idea. I took it from my dad's house, and I thought it was in my truck. Where is it at? I, I was going to roll it up and make a Probably carpet. Truck no, it's stuff. not in there. Whoa, I got to find that. That's important. So like we need to make, we need to do carpet press. Forgot about that. You roll it up and tape it with duct tape, and you come down. The bar transfers through the the carpet, and there, it doesn't come down like a board. You know, it has a little bit of play in there. So, hmm, I'll have to look for that. One rep. No, Howard Weingarten. Howard Weingarten. Sorry, you had that. You had it on one reps. Howard Weingarten and Happy Birthday, Bench Monster, the man. Thank you, Howard. Saturday, seven a.m. Bench Monster entered the planet. It was reign of terror upon bench press records. <laughs> Never thought I was. I was a soccer player for many years. So one day I said, "Man, I don't, I'm tired of being the karate kid and getting picked on. I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna get big." That was my goal. Did pretty well. Look at that thick, front to back. Bigger in your head. 
Looking pretty good for 96 years old. <laughs> for no. One rep max. Okay, guys, got to go. I'm scheduled an hour earlier than usual. All right. Long story, but hope health is good. Backs are in one piece. Enjoy your dinner and see you next week. Good job at the meet. Thank you, one Thank rep. Thank you, one rep. Glad you're able right. to join us. Have a good, Have night, a good at night at work. Good work. Yep. Good night at work. Um, Mr. Elite Entertainment. Yeah, you haven't heard that in a while. I know. I was just thinking that. We're today. still here. Yeah. Been a while since I last tuned into these episodes. Yeah, we noticed. Yeah. Glad to have you back. Hope you're both well and happy birthday, Ryan. Thank Best you. Wish wishes for health, wellness, and strength. Thank you. Glad you joined us. It's been a while. It's good to see your name in there. Yeah. Again. Speak, speaking of health, you know, I got to have that oblation thing done in April, and then uh, talk to a guy at the meet, a uh, friend of BJ Dirks, and I got the lowdown. I, I talked to him for two hours about stem stem cell therapy in Mexico, and I think this summer we're going to make the trek. And uh, go down and, and have my neck where I have that um, stenosis issue, L5S1. And just, yeah, I think it's going to be something that's going to benefit me. And it's not as expensive as I thought it would be. And it's a vacation within itself. So I'll keep you posted. And most likely that will be all videoed and yada, yada, yada. But I think we'll have to be down there for five days, most likely, or something. So they got to do a bunch of, I don't know, a bunch of different things and stick the stem cells here and there. And I think it's going to kind of make me a brand new person. Might even fix my eye issue. That's what um, this guy was telling me. The stem cells, uh, it's it's the holy water of, uh, of of healing and stuff. I don't know. I don't think it's snake oil, but he told me to go back and watch the uh, Mel Gibson, Joe Rogan interview. And I did. And, you know, I've seen Ultimate Fighters and people get down to Columbia and get the stem cell thing done. But uh, they do it in Mexico too. And... Which I don't understand is he's, he's talking about how they take a needle and put it in your sternum, and that's where they get the stem cells from. Yeah. That's what he said? That's what I thought I heard. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested. Somewhere in there. Yeah. And, yeah, and then they just, uh, you get like 500 million of them. You put 50 million in an IV and 50 million in your neck. And maybe maybe uh, like uh, Matt Winning had his kidneys, you know, stem cells in his kidneys. You know, that wouldn't hurt me either. But I think uh, the general IV going through the body It'll be something I'll be coming back and tooting a horn about, or I'll come back and I'll say nothing really happened, but I think it'll benefit me. So I need all the help I can get, you know, I don't want to avoid surgery. So being scalpeled open. So I think this will be something that uh, will benefit me. So that will be this summer. I don't know when we're going. Got to get a passport. I don't have a passport. It might expired. So got to mm -hmm. get one of those going. And I've never been to Puerto Varta. Supposed to be beautiful down there. Yeah. That's really pretty. So I'll be hanging out on the beach, drinking virgin strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> I don't drink. No, we don't drink. But I was cur I was curious. I asked him about the cartel, and you heard what he said. Yeah. He said they're actually down there, and they they actually help you and bring you things. And that's what he claims. I I don't want to end up in a in a in a barrel of but uh, they like acid. appreciate tourists because they make them so much money. So they like treat you. That's what he said. That's I'm what he said. The only time I'm I've scared. ever heard that in my life. But yeah, you see me with my hands tied swore. behind my back with a. He swore he was like letting his 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 kid go by himself places and. That's what he said. Yeah, I don't know. Said he thought it was really safe. So I'm looking know. over my shoulder because I don't want to be beheaded down there for getting in the wrong part of town. <laughs> I'm still scared. Okay. A lot to saw through your neck. Right here? Oh, not the sharp knives they, they have. True. And they hack you with machetes, too. True. Take off your arm. You'll be fine. Yeah. They'd See you later. They'd get it done. <laughs> be a lot to throw away. It looks like a lot of work. But yeah. There's a lot of beef there. All right. Paul Laufer, I'm going to come down to 240. I was up to almost 250 a few days ago. That's just too heavy. Hard to breathe it that way. <laughs> you don't got to tell me, Paul. I've been, I've been all the way up to 363, so... But, you know, I'm not promoting what I'm saying, but when you get up to that weight, you actually adapt to it and you become one with it. Um, but it is, uh, it's like carrying around a 40-pound pack on your back and walking around. It's tough. It's laborious, let me tell you. And you almost have sometimes moments of panic where you're just... <sighs> Those days when I'd push my shopping cart from one end of the Walmart aisle to the other and have to lean on it for about two minutes. That's terrible. Oh, that, that was big. It's real bad. Yeah, that's bad. Not anymore. I'm working my way down now. Try to get down about 295. That's my plan. 
That's better than 350. But good job, Paul. Yeah, drop that weight. A little bit of cardio. You know, it all starts in the kitchen, too. Just cleaning up the diet a little bit. Huh. Manipulating carbs. Have your carb load days when you need, to need them and so on and so forth. All right. Sounds like he's got it going. He's got a plan. He's got an attack and he'll have victory. Elderly Barry. Ryan, you should make a video and demonstrate how the carpet press works. Okay. Well, I got to find my carpet first because I threw it in the back of the truck and I know I wouldn't leave it at the gym because I haven't rolled it up and taped it yet. So it's either in the garage here. I know it's not in back because I actually, when I go to the gym, and nobody knows this, but I've been taking like Walmart sacks with my strip, with my wraps and my mouthpiece. That was my gym bag. And my guys have been giving me shit. So when we went to the Arnold, I actually dusted off a House of Pain hockey bag with my name on it. And so I actually have a gym bag now. So I clean out the back of my truck pretty much, and I know there's no carpet back there because I, I got most of my stuff in my bag now. Hmm. So I think it's in the garage, and it's probably it needs to be rolled up and taped. And that probably will be a max effort day movement, a carpet press. And I will definitely video that. I, I, I got like a four, four foot by four foot roll of it. So make it about a, try to make it about a two and a half, three board, you know, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to collapse on you a little bit. So, yeah, it should be fun. I just got to find it. Maybe when I mow the lawn tomorrow, I'll dig through the garage. Elder, elderly Barry also says they can also take stem cells from your spine. Okay. Yeah, all I heard was uh, the guy said they put a needle in your sternum and draw them out that way. And I don't know. Uh, whatever. I'm looking forward to this. I don't know anything about it. But I'm sure I'll, I'll get more schooled as we get closer to making the trek down there and, and going through with it. I'm kind of excited. You know the help I can get. I got a lot of spine to get some stem cells from, I guess. Science yeah. is so cool. And what they can do now is, is crazy. crazy. It is crazy what they can do. Terry Conjugate Iron. Guys, I'm having an emergency at work, but I'll try and catch towards the end. Otherwise, I'll watch it when I get home tomorrow. I'm feeling better, and I'm back in training. Awesome, Good. Terry. Good to hear Glad from that. Glad to hear it. Good yeah. to hear from you. Mr. Elite Entertainment, is that for AFib ablation? Sorry to hear this and prayers for a speedy recovery. Yeah, you know, I had AFib back in 2015 when I had like four scoops of Folgers coffee and one cup of water, and that triggered it. And I never had an episode until mid into summer last year, and it kind of kicked in. And I, I have my reasons why it did, but they, 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 they disagree with me on that. But regardless of that... It, uh, yeah, it was 140 beats per minute resting and they had to uh, put me under and cardiovert me. Now they want to do this ablation thing. So I'm, I'm all for, you know, doing what the doctor says, but it's not like this is happening like every six months or every year. It showed its ugly face, you know, eight years later. So I, I'll, I'll roll through with it, even though he says I can die during the procedure. So if I see you, uh, after the 23rd of April, I see you. Yeah. They have to warn you. So it doesn't happen. And the success rate of this ablation is not really impressive either. It's like 70% or something. But, you know, I think if... Uh, Do they feel like you really need it? That's the question. Gus Rethwich had it done. Dan, Dan Logman's had it done. A lot of people had well, it done. Uh, I Putnam. Think Putnam had it done. And he swore by it. Swore by it. So, yeah, I'm not, not too worried about it. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, that was a thing. But I don't know why it uh, flared up. I did get really big last year, if you remember. I got up to like 346. I don't think that was the best thing for me. That was dumb. That was dumb. But I wanted to be big for the Arnold. And um, then I got back, and I kind of maintained that through the till summer. And I kind of started going down about 320. But I don't, I don't think getting big was, was helping the matter either. So. No. But, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I guess I can't lift anything over like 10 pounds after the ablation no. for like a week. Like I can't even load a plate. Let's go to the gym and film. So it's going to be kind of weird to not lift any weights. And I think that's because of the where they go in and your feminal artery and your leg or something. I guess they don't want that blowing open or something. I don't know. I'll get all the ups and downs, ins and outs. I'm sure when I when I get done with it. That will give you better directions, I assume. But it can only help. I think. I don't think I'll die. So, so knock on wood. Not. Good. I'll be here. Better be. Go. Yeah. Kick your ass. Elderly Barry, what gave you the idea for the carpet press? West Side Barbell. They used to do that a uh, long time ago. Carpet press. And a uh, little different than a board. You know, a board stops on a board, but a carpet, when you roll it up, it's it's hollow in the middle and it's and it's spongy. So you come down once, and it's going to transfer through the carpet and keep coming down on you a little bit. 
so it doesn't come down and halt like it does on a board. So there's a little bit of uh, give in the carpet, and that will uh, differentiate that between a board and and uh, we'll see. Just like a board press, but a little different. So looking forward to that. I still don't know how big to make the roll because I don't know how much of the of of the bar is going to go through it. I don't I don't know. So I'll probably make it probably bigger than I should, and then end up probably trimming it down. I think you want it to be. Um, I don't know, five inches in diameter, something like that. You don't want to make it too big, obviously, but no. not too small either. So, because you want it to be somewhat hollow in the middle. You don't want it to fold it up so it's completely all carpet. Right, because then it won't. And it won't have, it won't it won't have that compression. Yeah. yeah. So, there's a method to the madness. I just got to make it. Get it done. Got to find it first. I got to find it. I know I have it somewhere. Howard White Garden. Ashley, glad to hear your knee is better. And yes, just keep working your feet and heels out and set back hard and be on the lookout for a seminar about box squatting. You want to go to that seminar that Ed Cohn's putting on? Yeah, yeah Ed Cohn's coming here in July, uh, th two hours away from here. Yeah, he's doing a seminar in Wenatchee. He invited me to dinner afterwards, too. Me. Didn't say you, he said yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> dude, you know. Oh, we gotta sign up. I gotta sign up for it. So I'll pay for it. He invited you. I don't know if you yeah. have to, but I I hope not. I mean, I I assume that I would. I'm not. I'm not in touch. Yeah. What do you Paul got? Offer. Maybe the cats took the carpet and rolled it up and made scratching posts. I mean, they might have done that, Maybe. Paul. Because I don't. <laughs> they ruin everything around here. I don't know where it's at. It's like I, I got. All, I got. I got like posts. seven or eight different kind of bars in the garage in, in a corner and one's a freak bar which i don't leave at the gym that i got from louis simmons he sent it to me that's of course the internal spring and external springs on the bar so i can see uh, did he make that uh, he invented it i'm pretty sure i don't know i still got it he revamped it later on and made the spring the springs um i think out of steel mine are somewhat like a polymer plastic but it works good yeah you got to put a little bit of graphite on it and keep it kind of loosened up but it works good. I will never leave that at the gym. What people would do with that, I can't imagine. Break it in five oh, seconds. That thing wouldn't last for. I got my Emax bar and my Fate bar, and I got that uh, cambered football bar there, all locked up with chain and lock. There ain't nobody using that stuff. No rookies. You gotta take care of your equipment. Sometimes you gotta lock it up from the normal people who don't know how to use it. Elderly Barry says half or Bjorgensen has a video of getting stem cell injections into his pectoral muscles. It works miracles. You should check. Okay, it out. thank you. I didn't know that. This guy, uh, that arm wrestler guy, um, had it done too. Um, oh God, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of people have had it done and had great success. Yeah. And so, I, I'm definitely. Uh, I guess he said it made his hair grow back too, and it made his vision better, and. Yeah, all, all kinds of stuff. It's magical. It. Yeah. You know, there's a PRP therapy, you know, and there's uh, exosomes, exosims is what they call it, and then there's stem cell. So I've never done PRP or exosomes, but I'm just going to jump right into stem cell and just let's give it a shot and take a vacation in the summer. Let's get the hell out of here again. Yeah. It's nice. It'll be hot down there, but I'll be, in the, I'll be in the, in the ocean swim with the sharks. One time we went to Ensenada, you know, it's like 20 minutes from Tijuana. I remember we were at a resort down there and I walked out. For some reason, the ocean, you can go like 150 yards out there and it's only like five feet deep. I remember I got so far out there and I looked back and it was like miles. I was so far out in the ocean. It, just, it doesn't have a drop off or something where I was. And I was like, I'm out under my neck and I'm, I'm way the hell out here. Maybe I shouldn't go any further, but I have some pictures from that trip. I probably can't post those, but. What a good time that was. And it'll be again. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. So I, I got some stem cell videos to watch. I do. I got some research to do. And I'm just getting excited about it because, like, I have stenosis in my neck, you know, years of pulling my head back with those bench press shirts. I've compressed those discs. And as you know, I had a seven-month episode uh, a year and a half ago where this right arm pectoral was atrophying and I couldn't hold 315 in my hands because the right side would fall down. 
So I spent seven months taking a hand off and dropping it down, pushing it up, and then throw it in the rack. Didn't miss a workout, but couldn't bench properly. And then I got that uh, cortisone shot, and I was was doing 1,100 two weeks later. So brought me right back. But God, I don't want to screw it up again. And I know the more I do that, it doesn't make it better. So, but maybe these stem cells can make the discs grow a little bit. So, I hope. That's and it's not it's not really it's not really as expensive. I thought it was like 20 30 grand and it's not that much. Don't quote me. I'm not going to quote a price what I was told, but it is it isn't um too bad. According yeah. To him. According to him. So, yeah, that'll be when are we going to go? June, July, what? You gotta start planning. August. August? Why? Cuz I do so much work. Oh, August. Well, I guess I got to wait a little bit. Been waiting your whole life. Oh, uh, I want to go. I want to go. I'm excited. I'm gonna be chomping at the bit. When the more research I do and the more positive things I see about it, I'm gonna get too excited. So, I'm looking forward to to doing something different and bettering my body and keeping me in the game. So, well, that being said, I guess we are we're done. It's birthday time. Two more days. Forty eight days. Yep, forty eight hours. Actually, thirty six. Awesome, yeah. Yep, it'll be my birthday. Not sure what we're doing. Yeah, you do. I don't know anything. You're part of it. I know part of it, but I like surprises, so it'll be fun. Only comes around once a year, so I gotta enjoy it. And how fast they come around. Seems like just yesterday I had one. So that's why I put the birthday cake on the uh, YouTube thumbnail. Uh, cheesy, but I, I gotta scream and shout when I can. So well, I can't do it sitting, I set a bench record because I'm getting too old for that. But anyway, you got anything else to say? Birthday. Happy birthday. Almost. Thank you. Appreciate the birthday wishes, everybody, and stay strong out there. Keep lifting. And as you know, benchmonster at gmail.com is where you send your videos. If you want them on the show, send them to my email, include a little brief description on what you're doing, and I will write it down. We'll speak about it and we'll promote it. And that's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah. All I bring to the like table to is everybody's stuff. I like to see whatever you're doing. And I bring my rambles and I bring my, everybody's wins. My, my speed bench and max effort, usually what I bring. So. And whatever I find, if I don't have enough uh, videos in my email, I got to go searching. And you always supply some, which helps, and one rep. And, you know, I appreciate everybody that sends videos and a lot of stuff. But if I see it on on social media, I'm like, that'd be cool for the show. Then I save it and I put it on the show. So I try to find things that are that are entertaining and, and cool. And obviously, everybody wants to see the heavyweights, big deadlifts, big squats, big benches. So I try to find those. And then I find, like, a quirky little uh, uh, Coach Ben had a... Had a instagram video on um sh uh, shoulder placement on the bench but last time i i told him about the arnold i said i pulled one of your videos and put it on my show and i got copyright strike for it and i, did, I couldn't figure out why like oh, I, maybe it was the music in the background was it was, wasn't royalty free or something oh. but um he has some really good educational uh, stuff on instagram and i wanted to put that on here but i i was a little scared because when i get a copyright strike i wake up in the morning i gotta go to youtube studio and then i gotta s chop out that segment and so it's so it's not in there, or otherwise we won't get monetized. And it's not like I'm getting rich off this show. I mean, hundred bucks every three months, maybe. I mean, but I do it for fun, and I like yeah, it. it yeah, fun. we've been doing it for how many episodes now? Which one's this? One hundred and ninety-four. Oh, almost two hundred. Oh, two hundred. Oh, what, what did we do at a hundred episode? We had a giveaway. Giveaway. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Six more. I'm gonna have to get, do some giveaways do here. Cool again, yeah. Oh, I'll have to reach out to Pharrell. Yeah. And um, maybe get some gift cards or something, and we'll have some questions. And I got a few DVDs I can sign. Yeah, maybe we'll do something on the 200th and make it uh, make it cool. That's a big one. That's that'll be here before you know it. 200. So, 100. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, we had we had a really good giveaway on the hundredth one. Remember yeah, we got John Elick stuff, and yeah. Rob Farrell sent out a, a lot of care packages, and we and I mailed off a lot yeah, of they, stuff. They rocked it. They rocked it. So they really helped us out. For yeah. Sure. Well, let's we'll see if it's in the budget. I mean, I can't afford. I we can't afford a birthday present right now, from what I was told. So, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have anything to sell. You give you guys. I can't even get a present. We'll so, well, well, the fans are more important. Yeah. We want to sacrifice for the fans. Yes. Yeah. All right. Everybody have a great weekend. It's getting warmer out there. Seems like the winter is behind us, and warm weather is on the way. Maybe and last year after spring break, though, it snowed. It's known. I know. So I never. I Eat my words when it snows again. Yeah. This weather is so unpredictable. Well, it's controlled, but it's you just never know what you're going to get anymore. 
no. torrential downpours, uh, gale force winds, all that good stuff. You never know. All right. I know, it was hey, really windy last time. Well, please join us again next week. And um, yes, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you guys spending your Thursday evenings with us, or whenever it is you're watching this. We just appreciate you spend time watching us on this show. These two little douchebags here, yeah, Riff and Raff. And sometimes and we, we bring down have... a cat too, once in a while. Every now and then, we haven't done that in a long time. No, though. they want to make a guest appearance. But then they don't stay down here because there's too much stuff for them to get into. Yeah. There's too much things of value down here. Wires to chew on, things to walk on that they don't need to be down here. Yeah, I'm sure my man cave down show. here. Hmm? My man cave down here. They're quite the setup. Arcade video game over there. Turntables, music equipment, studio desk here. That's kind of cool. Need more room. Yeah. Yeah. This thing's growing. Okay. Well, we'll uh, be back next week, obviously, and uh, we'll do it again. Have a great rest of your night, an awesome Friday, a great weekend, and an awesome week, and we'll see you next Thursday. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody.